you are learning power bi and you want to learn advanced concepts you want to know how to apply the concept you have learned as a beginner in power bi then this is the series for you so watch this complete series know how various concepts can be applied to achieve different different results subscribe to the channel welcome to another episode of abstract thesis series and in today's video we will learn how to download and install on premise gateway and how do we use it so first of all why do we need on premise gateway so let's say i have used an excel file or i have used any on premise database let's say i have sql server installed on my on premise uh, or my machine or on the servers which we have internally and we have used that uh, in our power bi configuration now once we publish it now that is not available online neither my csv file or excel files which are on my laptop or desktop or on the server they are not available now how do i access those so to access those we need on premise gateway now ideally speaking on premise gateway should be on a machine which is uh, 24x7 online there should be some kind of a machine or server at your end which is up and running always and on that machine you should have on premise gateway or on that machine you should have these excel files and your database so that you know from there you can provide the access to power bi service so basically what's happening your data is not on cloud so how do power bi service going to access because power bi service is on azure cloud to access that you need to create a mechanism and that mechanism is on premise gateway so on premise gateway will create a communication link between these two and then power bi service will be able to see the data on your machine and that data can be accessed the data can be refreshed by power bi service so uh, first of all to do that uh, uh, what we will do is we'll download a on premise gateway then we'll publish one file and uh, see that uh, how uh, we need an on premise gateway and when if uh, then we'll configure that on premise gateway now it would uh, require a windows login credentials uh, also uh, in that case so that also we will tell you how to do that so let's go to a browser and download on premise gateway so let's search for power bi on on premise gateway now So search for Power BI on-premise data gateway. Now this is the documentation. So let's search on-premise gateway download. And we'll get this download option. So this is on-premise gateway and uh, important select the language. So we can say download. So it's getting downloaded and once it's download we'll install that it's almost done okay it's completed let's double click on this then we need to give a location i'm giving the default location right now and i uh, it is asking to allow me twice it has asked for different different permissions i have allowed that it's getting installed once it, it get installed then we need to log in and this is, should be the same login which i'm going to use on uh, my uh, power bi service so same login i'm going to use here so that you know when i go to that service i should be able to easily find it out it's again asking for permissions i given now it is asking for email id and i'm going to give my email id and login into this one So I have logged in and it's saying register uh, a new gateway on the computer or migrate or restore or take over existing gateway. Uh, one of the option you can choose. I'm saying, okay, let's register a new one. I need to give a name. So I'll say Amit 
new PC gateway and recovery key I need to give eight digit recovery key let me give something confirm recovery key So login is done, gateway is installed and it's all ready. Please make sure that this should be in the ready stage and it should be up and running if you want to use it. Now what we need to do is we need to make sure that we have a published file either available already on app.powerba.com and we use it. So let's or we publish a new one. So just for your our reference, I'll publish a new one. So let me open a Power BI file first of all. So let's open Power BI. And I have this Power BI which I use for my videos. So I'm opening that one and let me publish into a one, one of the workspaces. And once I publish it to one of the workspaces, let me see if I can access the local one. But first, before I do that, I need to make sure that the current sources which are there in this file, they are working or not. So I go to, once I open it, I go to the home tab, transform data, transform data. I need to make sure that locally it will, it is still working because sometime it may happen that, you know, that, that's what I was doubting because I moved around while, while creating this one. So it's showing me error and what I can do is I can go to my data source settings and in my data source setting, I know it's not correct correctly. So I go ahead and browse it from the correct location, data location and see this data used in video. I correct the source completely. So now uh, I have corrected this. Let me close it in if everything is correct, then it should actually um, it's still showing error here. Let's see. Okay. So maybe I have not corrected this source. Okay, close. Let me see close and apply. Does it change anything? Yes, it is changing. Okay, so it's failed. It does not correct it. Let me go ahead and now use. No, it's corrected right now. Okay, so it's showing false error. Let's try close and apply again. Now it's blocked by Okay, geography column state wasn't found. Let's see. And it could be because of the space because one of the column has space. And when we do promoted header, we typically remove it. But we might not have done that. Okay, so th th these kind of errors could be there. That's why, you know, this old file. So try to publish, you need to check. Okay, now everything is correct. Now you can publish. So let's publish this. You want to save the changes? Yes, we want to save the changes. And let's uh, use a workspace which I use very less. So I use demo2. Demo2 is one which I'm using very less. So publish is successful. Let's go to the workspace and uh, uh, let's try to check the data set settings. So I go to workspace and I am looking for demo two workspace and inside demo two, uh, we can sort on the latest one. So we got this one. So this data set and now in this data set, I would like to go to the settings and check out for on premise gateway settings. So I go here and uh, you know, all these gateways I can see, this is the one which is the, my new one and I need to configure this. Uh, it is saying uh, you don't have new to on premise gateway installed and it is looking for personal gateway and I have installed the one. Let's see why it is not taking the new one because for that we need to do one more setting. So let's go to on premise gateways here, new PC, why it is giving error, open new gateway the connection details. We open here, it is enabled, refresh the status, loading, it's online. Okay, this is correct. This is online. And let's look at the data sources. Now no, let's go back to that data set. Let's see, uh, does it still no? Okay, now it, let, let's click on this one. And let's see, add to gateway. Gateway cluster, new PC, data source name is, let's say, uh, sales in video and source type is file windows authentication i need to give my username which is admin and then i need to give my password
Now here there is a challenge. We need to use the, I need to check on Windows exactly what is my username. And for that I need a domain name. So Windows D, this is how you check. You go here, my PC. It might not be the correct name actually. And I need to say properties. No, this properties of my PC's properties. And in my PC's property, I need to say, take this name also. Just one second. I'm doubting this is not going to work. So if this doesn't work, then I need to use backslash this one. Okay, I say create. Okay. So let's look at this now. See, and the name has, that name is really important. Okay, the desktop name which I've given. Okay. And sales used in video, say apply. Now I will be able to configure a refresh. And the thing here is if you go to the schedule refresh, it starts showing you the button. It means the things have been configured properly. So you come here and you configure it. And when you give the name, username, when you give, especially remember the machine name or the domain name all need to be taken care. So once you are done, then you are now ready to refresh the data. You can schedule a refresh or if you are on direct query also, you will be able to access it. So this is how you install the on-premise gateway. And once you install the on-premise gateway with the help of any one of the file, you can go ahead and correct the configuration which you have. So go ahead and try this out. Do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.